Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome from the, <laughs> the most popular part of Bali actually. This is Ubud and the central location at the front of the King Palace and the art market uh, behind us. Nothing really has changed here. There's traffic, busy, a lot of tourists, international, less domestic because uh, there are no holidays right now. We're gonna go into that direction behind us. There are also very nice uh, areas to show you. And it's recently 5 p.m. So you will have a point of view what's going on here. So this is the art market, the newest one. Oh, doggos here and people. Actually, you know, if you're looking at this, there's a lot of uh, people from all around the world in general. And yeah. Yeah, so today we will not exploring how is the Ubud traditional market because we've been there so many times. But we will take you to stroll around that area, especially in the area of Jalan Gotama Street. Because normally we just go there at night time, but today we will show you how it is at the rush hours, especially at this time. Let's All go. Right, let's go, let's go. Uh, I think we can walk on this side of the street because the footpath is actually better. It's like small and a little bit, uh, you know, not broken yet. <laughs> We're still broken. Honey, at least this uh, footpath is nicer right if yeah, you compare that nice, one nice. that's one still you know holes in it but this one is just because of the brand new art market so yeah still nice still nice and also we always walk there facing this one so i have a nice view of this side of the street right now which is also cool filming white lens now because i have opportunity because the light is perfect for filming it's actually golden hour for filming Cloud bikes, that's nothing never gonna change. TEA, you know what I mean? <laughs> Mix, so this is Indonesian brand. They opening shops everywhere nobody. And the billboard and the market. Okay, last view. A little bit I show you, okay? Uh, nothing really changed there. And there are some restaurants opened recently, which is cool. Black Eye coffee shop. And there's some restaurant there, people selling dances. Well, uh, regular stuff here in 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 in, in Ubud in general but uh, I have to say I have to say you can feel this as the tourists are here and the people are here isn't it yeah even the restaurant behind me during the pandemic it was just like a closed restaurant but now look it's busy pack of people so let's go there and explore more how it is um, you know Ubud situation but I gotta tell you it's actually pretty busy without like uh, covering anything is just wherever you look there are people yeah. happy happy tourists happy groups however you can still find the closed restaurant even till now so this is like not 100 percent recovery but uh, well definitely better than it was thanks to the art market the brand new one the footpath is really nice here so the, this is the reason why i prefer walk, walk here it's wider cleaner and generally uh, safer <laughs> Sure. They should change it this one also because you see they're, they're not that, but maybe they will change it one day, right? And uh, overall this is like a little bit more peaceful part, like a little bit between the market and Jalan Gutama. Some local vendors selling the fruits on the side of the street, like this one, hello. And this one, and this one, you have a nice tropical fruits baskets here you can try. Tachu as well, of course, currency exchange at the current rate. Uh, and so, uh, air uh, sunglasses you can buy also. Okay, sunglasses! <laughs> Big sunglasses guy, I just yes. mentioned about the Ishe one. And you see, pretty busy, hello. Check this out, this is Simply Social, also nice place. Overall, overall, I'm gonna tell you, you can feel it. This is kinda busy, you know, but without like i said no matter where i go especially if it's central location it will be with you what's up thank you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah thank you yes and yes. yeah yo what's up hello hi <laughs> <laughs> you see you <laughs> see <laughs> this is it this is it uh, and uh, somebody recognized somebody got why wanted to sell us the bicycle and of course they selling stuffs shops boutiques and and then there's already broken footpath. <laughs> this is already old part. And the Jalan Gutama is just literally here, which is uh, not allowed for the cars to drive there. That's, yeah. But so many motorbikes actually coming from the small street here and so busy. Jalan Gutama basically like this one. 
taxi, of course. Well, let's have a let's have a stroll on this small street here. Uh, so many nice restaurants. Also, I think last last time there was so many Japanese one. Uh, so this is, this is cool. Only motorbikes are allowed here, theoretically. <laughs> No, they are allowed here, but the cars no. Then recently, actually, cars are really not coming here, which is which is cool. And what is this purple things? This is something new. Thing. What is it? I don't know. This, this is, is just like totally different. Huh? Zen aura. This is like a thing. This is like a kind of magic stuff. Another magic stuff like the Merlin magic. <laughs> yeah. Be careful because the car somehow came here. I don't know how come the cars are allowed here, but uh, but yeah, some sort of interesting stuff. But uh, this is Ubud vibes in general. I think it's only happening in Ubud like this. You I know, mean, five of Ubud. the yogis, five of the spiritual yeah. things. I mean, only in Ubud you can find something like that. But uh, overall, you know, it's cool as you can find. You know, like I mentioned already many, many times, Bali have many things, you know, it's not only the same thing everywhere. There are many things, everything is different. Somehow, you can find places like this one. And overall, that's the nice little street that the boys working on Panjor. Panjor or Panjor? Panjor, because Panjur. it's going to be a, you know, Galungan celebration. So, yeah, it's just like Christmas decoration. Tree. <laughs> Balinese Christmas tree, mm -hmm. very nice actually, full family working on it, so very nice to make a shot for you. Uh, this painter can be worth like one and a half million, maybe one million, something like that. One thing, like my friend who lives in Ubud, they even said that one painter could cost you one million rupiah. Like this one, one million, two million, yeah, it could the more be. fancy the painter, This one is pretty expensive. fancy actually. This one like a hundred USD for oh, the look, 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 look how they, you know, work together to put it up. Yeah. This is actually cool wow. to show you. Wow, this and then the heavy. cables, electric cables. Oh no, be careful with the cables. <laughs> then then oh. we'll be blackout if so, you know why. Oh. <laughs> no, no, are they doing all right? Yeah, it's cool. And this is pretty, the biggest painter on the street here. Some of them, they are nice, really nice. Ooh. They're doing all right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So basically, Jalan Gautama Street also famous for the, you know, local restaurant, warungs, like in front of me, warung local in Jalan Gautama. And yeah, it's kind of the eat street, honey, for the Ubud. <laughs> eat street and also like this one on the right side, this one is the homestay. So yeah, for the more uh, budget friendly, right? Yeah, definitely. And also, it's pretty busy. I'm gonna tell you actually, this street, usually we're here at night, so we don't have a point of view how it's during the day, and that's why we came here now earlier. And I'm gonna tell you, it's more of a try to walk. Oh, and there are nice restaurants here also, very enjoyable, people enjoying the time you see, and the shop with the shirts and stuff, the tour company, I mean, the, you know, the reseller and stuff spa everything is actually on the one small street but with the difference is there are not many cars that's the biggest difference and the thing here whenever you walk mm, the seller are not too pushy. pushy you know not not so asking you too much about <laughs> buying their products yeah, that's just the like thing. chill vibe that's the thing that's the thing it's a little bit more cozy just simply more enjoyable you know, this is like enjoyable even to sit by the street in the restaurant because if you see so many cars and motorbikes driving next to you, it's not that enjoyable to sit actually, you know, just have a quick coffee maybe and go, but not like having a lunch. But here, yeah, you can very peacefully. Very nice place, very nice place, very nice, enjoyable little street in central of Ubud. So this is how basically people are eating in the warung, working on the laptop. I think this is the second busiest place also for the digital nomad. And the lady with the doggo running. It's very enjoyable, you know, walking here. So yeah, let's go there and stroll around more. Okay, a little bit more. There will be actually a brand new restaurant in the future. Uh, overall, that's the, that's the vibe here. It's enjoyable. But there's one seller, of course. 
but uh, not that many like uh, on the main streets and people just simply simply enjoy it all right and this is the junction and the corner of Jalangutama there's a cocktail bar the nice shop with the nice dresses the golden monkey the, the Chinese restaurant the huge sign with the name of the businesses here and everything the list is actually pretty long and Normally we either go that direction when I'm facing my camera or we're going in the direction where the truck is going there to Jalan Monkey Forest but on today's occasion especially for you we're gonna try to cross the street trying to don't die on the way <laughs> and because we are not only with the ladies here as well and the motorbikes going we're already standing on the street but nobody given us away ah, that's normal PA you know what I mean and then uh, we go here because I actually I, I we don't... never show you guys uh, this area basically. Yeah, we never show you this. It's area. like the continuation of uh, Jalan Gautama. Yeah, with the so many small streets, and this car somehow is trying to pass here. Here we go. Uh, yeah, never been here. I think it's small street in general and uh, pretty short. But uh, why not to show you something? Here we go. You can find so many very, very interesting places in Ubud still hidden just as long as you're looking to explore a little bit more. So many nice small cafes like this one with Japanese style nowadays. This is very popular in Japan and seems like in Ubud as well. And little shop, still some tourists making pictures. Nice little cafes actually where you can enjoy like this one. Yeah, basically you can walk on the small alleys like this. There are a few alleys like this ones. Just a long time ago, I expected the only warrants like this one are here, the very old and local ones. But now they change into so many uh, modern little cafes everywhere. Feels a little bit, uh, you know, nice. I mean, this is the tour operator, I mean, reseller and stuff. This one and this one. So basically, when I'm more and more walking here, and especially during daytime, it feels a little bit like strolling somewhere in and in Vietnam or something. I know people don't like if we're comparing countries to others one, but that's my personal feeling. <laughs> but that's somehow is this. But just there, there is no bikes and cars allowed at all. That's the biggest difference. What actually would be nice if here is also nothing is allowed as the driving with the engine. That will be nice. But after that, it's also very enjoyable. This also feels like it's coffee o'clock and here is a nice place. It's called Ubud Coffee Roastery. But it's close. I don't get in why it's close. But we're gonna find out something. Okay, let's go find some coffee shop here. Actually, little update. This is the, the place what I said is closed because they actually move and it's here in the corner. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like uh, impressive. So many things here what we didn't know. Huh? <laughs> so maybe it's time for Coffee, coffee O'Clock. Alright, so this is the place here. Uh, our coffee is coming. Here we go. Hot cappuccinos. Um, like this one, we're sitting on the sofa, actually on the middle of the restaurant, facing the whole entire uh, barista bar. They have 100% Indonesian Arabica beans here. At least that's what the lady have on the on the t-shirt. And the pricing a little bit. I don't know if you can see, cappuccino is 35, including the tax, which is not bad, actually not bad for Ubud standard. Yeah, like a three sofas there, I mean the church. And the outside is also outdoors. Okay, so I think that's all our video today from Ubud. Our stroll around. Maybe you have been, you have ever been in that area. This is for you. Or if you never been exploring this area, so you will know how it is. So thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Coffee cheers. Time. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. But tell me, is it nice? Strong coffee. Okay, that's good. <laughs>